Hi, so I want to give you the results of my Mega Home water distiller here by measuring it with this TDS meter, which is a total dissolved solids meter. And uh, what I want to compare it to is here I have the distilled water. I have the water remaining at the bottom after it's distilled, just to show you how bad it is uh, with the solids remaining in the water that hasn't been processed. I have here the Brita water. This is Poland Springs. This is Pellegrino mineral water. This is water from my tap, which is the hot water. And this is the cold water from my tap. So let's go ahead and let me get started here. So I'm gonna put this in the distilled water. And you'll notice with the distilled water, it reads a parts per million of simply one, which is uh, quite awesome for dist <laughs> you know the distilled water. So just sh goes to show just how good this Mega Home water distiller is. And next, I'm going to show you the water that's remaining at the bottom. So let me go ahead. All right. So now let me show you the water that was remaining at the bottom. I'll bring this over here. And you'll notice here that it has a 122, but it's not 122. You'll notice it's blinking and it says times 10. So the water remaining at the bottom after I've distilled the water is 1,220. So that is an incredible amount. Uh, 1,220, uh, you know, parts per million. So let me go ahead now and, uh, you know, clean it out a little bit and try the Brita water. So keep in mind that that's 1,220. And now I'm going to try the Brita water here. And the Brita water here is 299, and that's a new filter that I have in there. So the Brita water itself is 299, and let me go ahead and show you the tap water that that was using. And I'll rinse it out with the distilled water, though it doesn't matter as far as, uh, you know, the contamination because it's, uh, you know, such a little amount of contamination that I move from uh, basically water to water. So you'll see that the cold tap water, which I ran for 40 seconds, and it was really cold water from the tap, was 323. And now going to the hot water tank water, which is the hot water from the tank, uh, from, from the uh, tap, And you'll see that is also 396. And now for the Pellegrino, let me just rinse it out here with the distilled water. And now for the Pellegrino, which is mineral water, so there's going to be some minerals in it. And you'll notice the mineral water is 579, so you know keep that in mind that uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It, this thing just measures the total dissolved solids. And now for the Poland Springs, so Poland Springs, you'll notice the spring water is 38 parts per million. So, um, you know, definitely with the mega home distilled water, that is the purest water there with one parts per million. So that's pure water and the gunk and, and it actually just looks like water. So let me, let me show you how the, 
this 1,220 parts per million actually looks by removing the cover here. And it just looks like water. It, it doesn't look any different. So you, you'll see there's some solids dissolved down there, but that's really it. Which is why with the operation of this mega home distiller to not go to to not uh, basically have it boil to completion because you're gonna have you know a, a hard time of cleaning the gunk at the bottom when, when it burns into the pot itself one more thing I did want to show is that you know just the the cross contamination doesn't make that big a difference is I I rinsed a lot of my trials out with the distilled water, so I'm going to measure the distilled water here. And you'll notice it is simply a 6, meaning that after I've, you know, done all these trials and I've rinsed it out with the distilled water, it merely added, you know, 5 parts per million to that. So, um, as far as the results, you know, it's, uh, you know, pretty clear that there wasn't too much of a cross-contamination. Uh, but that's really it. I hope this helped. Please subscribe and thank you for watching.